Good morning everybody, it is a new week, fresh vlog, freshly washed hair, I look like I'm naked, I promise I'm not. Today is Tuesday, I'm very very excited to be back with you. Feeling very good this morning, got up nice and early, had my coffee, shower, fresh hair, full face of makeup, yeah, feeling good. I hope you're all doing really really well. What am I doing today? What? What am I doing? That's my question for most of my life in lockdown. You know, there's no structure. There is no structure. That's kind of my mission for this week is to get some structure back in my life. Last week, I feel like I was on like an extreme learning binge, which will continue, but it was definitely very, very, very intense. And I literally threw my whole routine out the window. Like last week, there was nothing that I was doing that really felt like, sorry, my hair is really <laughs> I should have just wet it so that it just slipped back whilst I was talking to you. But yeah, last week I had zero routine, which was needed, it was necessary, but this week I definitely want to get back on the bandwagon. I think tomorrow morning I'm going to go for my first, is it my first run of the week? First run of the week is going to be tomorrow. I think I'm just going to do a walk this afternoon. Basically, I'm waiting for my scabs on my chest to heal before I put my sports bra back on because my sports bra, if any of you have any recommendations for good sports bras, because my boobs, although they're not super big they still are quite weighty and my sports bra has been cutting into me when i'm running or also when i'm skipping um i need to do an updated workout routine for sure but yeah so i'm waiting for my cuts to heal before i go for another run i've had cuts here for so so long now and yeah it's just not cute so that's what that is if anyone is wondering because i know it's kind of some people are a bit funny about seeing weird things on people's skin but yeah tomorrow i'm definitely going to get back into like my full-on exercise routine and i'm really really excited for that so looking forward to it hopefully the weather holds up but yeah today is just going to be getting my life back in order a little bit of admin i've been doing some cleaning and washing this morning and i've got some things to unbox which i'm so excited about and i'm also going to be giving one of my rooms a little bit of tlc it's one that i haven't i kind of started tackling a little bit about a week ago <laughs> so this is at some point going to be an office but um it actually looked worse than this a few days ago believe it or not but for the time being it's going to be like a beauty room i guess I'd, it's so unnecessary but the wardrobe room let me show you the wardrobe room still looks like this so there are boxes everywhere yeah <laughs> that's what that looks like i can't i just can't basically I, I can't remember if I said before, but lots of places aren't delivering furniture, so I'm kind of in a bit of a state of limbo, but IKEA is now delivering, like it's, well, I think it's been doing it for a while, maybe, but it's delivering like most of its stuff because it's flat pack. I think at some point I am going to make a start with the wardrobes, just getting something temporary in there, because I need to decide what I'm doing with the future plans for the house before I decide on a permanent wardrobe fixture so yeah i just feel like that's a good place to start but in here will some point be an office but until lauren comes back to work this is yeah this is gonna be kind of it because there's no point in me purchasing desk stuff now like i can put that budget somewhere else so yeah it's just gonna be a little bit of a beauty room but i do want to sort it out because it's a room that i walk past a lot and i see a lot so i just want to make it all nice i've got quite a few boxes i've got my post office stuff that i need to get out and then i've got lots of beauty boxes so i still have these drawers which as you can see i've already started kind of putting new in beauty bits in so what i think i'm going to do is just fill that set of drawers up with my beauty bits until a proper beauty storage system is like here until i decide basically i'm thinking of having like a whole wall of storage here which can be both like paperwork but also beauty storage in the long run just like a really efficient storage space but i quite like it to be really beautiful as well so i think i'm gonna look at some ikea systems design them get what i want and then have maybe custom doors put on them we'll see this room isn't really the ideal one for storage because there's a really inconveniently placed radiator so i might have to look into having that move anyway this is a really long chat about a room that some of you probably don't care about because you are not going to see this room very often so yeah that is my plan whilst my hair is drying i think i'm going to make a start and just try and get as much beauty products as i can into these drawers they are the worst drawers in history because this takes up so much more space than it should the cupboard doors on the cupboards are the same as well like they there's just an indent and it doesn't actually do anything and it just means that nothing can push against it because then it won't shut properly so yeah that is plan of action one for this morning then plan of action two is just tidy up 
my living room because this is more Ryan's room. I tend to live in the kitchen. It's a real like my family thing. I love being in a kitchen in my family home that I think my family's lived in for maybe like 15 years now. We've had a very like large kitchen and it's always really warm and snuggly because it's like south facing. So it's just always a really lovely room to spend time in. And this room is very much like that. So I tend to gravitate towards this room and spend time in here. We kind of have our separate rooms, but that does mean that I tend to spend more time tidying in here than I do in the living room. So I'm also gonna do that this morning. And I thought I'd do a little OOTD in case anyone is wondering. This is from ASOS, it's actually a body. And then the trousers, some of you might remember if you've stuck around for a while, these are from Topshop. I got them a few years ago. They tend to bring them back in kind of different styles. So if they have anything like it, then I will link it or I'll try and find some similar ones. But I just love these so much. I have a white linen pair from ASOS back there, but these are my favorites. I just think because they're not a stark white, they just look more expensive and they're actually like the way they fit and they fall is more flattering. Like I just, I love the fit of these. They are meant to be, I think a little bit more high waisted than they sit, but I got them so long ago and they used to kind of sit a little bit higher and now they just, <laughs> they're kind of hip length. But yeah, that is my little outfit and then my ASOS slippers, just a really nice like comfy around the house outfit, but that kind of looks a little bit chic. It will look better once I've actually done something with my hair, even if it's like put it in a bun, it will look a little bit better. I just think my half wet head of hair is kind of bringing things down. But yeah, it's a really, really cute little at home outfit. Super, super comfy. left out their TVC. This drawer still needs to be filled with makeup. I have a box down here, which needs to go in there, but I'm gonna have some lunch because that is gonna be a big job and I'm not ready for it. Hair products, it's very neat, very impractical considering how I've laid them out. This is not space efficient, but just to try and get rid of some of my boxes. This is skincare. Then we have tan and hair utensils. Hair utensils? What am I on? Hair tools down there. Also, this just arrived. If you're a fan of Zara, you'll know these boxes. I literally ordered this like a day ago. It was not meant to come until Friday. I am confused. Confused. That's not being shown in this video. I've got other stuff to talk you through in this video. Lots more things that have arrived that I was saving for this video because I didn't want it to go up in the last video because the last video was long enough. So yeah. There is a Zara haul coming. I'm very excited about the things that I picked up at the weekend. I just kind of thought I'd check the new in and it was so good. It was so good. So I think I'm going to make a really poor attempt at Mexican food because I'm kind of just using whatever I have in the fridge. I really, really, really need to do a food shop. The olives are just for my own snackage. If you watch the vlogs, you know, I'm just obsessed with olives. And I think I am going to watch Patricia's new video on the break platform and probably follow it up with a little bit of Lydia and Lucy and Lydia after that as well. I know lots of you will be familiar with Patricia, but if you don't follow the break platform, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It is one of my, like without a doubt, favorite YouTube channels. Like I don't think I, there is a video that I haven't watched. I love, love it. I, I love it. I love it. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. You need to go and subscribe. It's my favorite YouTube channel at the moment and I think will be of the future. I just, I love Patricia, but I love it when she talks about money even more.
had lunch, brushed my teeth, feeling all fresh. I don't know why, I before I like to do like the main part of a video, I always like to brush my teeth. It's a really weird habit I have. Had a little bit of an epiphany whilst I was making my lunch and I've decided that I'm gonna try and do heatless styling again, but for a longer period of time because it's not gone too badly today. I don't know if it's because I've been oiling my hair more and taking care of it more. It just seems to be a bit less frizzy. I don't know if it's the half up, half down is particularly helping in like making it not go crazy. I don't know if it's that I haven't gone outside and maybe I'm just feeling a little bit confident. But yeah, on the back of talking about my hair growth in I think the last vlog, yeah, I'm gonna have to do heatless styling a little bit more. So you might see me a little bit like this a little bit more often. I have an ASOS order to unbox for you and an Andrea Yama order and I'm so, so excited to open all of these things because they're all of the most gorgeous summery things. So, but yeah, let's get into it. The first parcel is from Andrea Yama and I am just throwing plastic everywhere. Well, wow. I've been so excited for these pieces to arrive. It's such a gorgeous brand. The colors that they do are just stunning. Like this, this is beautiful. So I got this in a size medium. I really, really hope that it fits because this is the most stunning print. The swimwear, I, I got, <laughs> the swimwear is just gorgeous. And I'm a big fan of swimwear, as you guys will know. I, oh my God, this plastic is actually stuck to my foot. I am always in bikinis. I love bikinis. If the weather is appropriate, <laughs> If the weather is appropriate, if I can get away with it without feeling cold, I will be in a bikini. So yeah, I'm very excited for this swimsuit. I thought that it would be perfect, even not as a swimsuit, you know, like with shorts, trousers, that kind of thing. Basically, you can always make a swimsuit double as a body and that's why I don't mind paying a little bit more for swimsuits especially, or even like a really nice bikini top because you can double them up. Like no one knows that the material isn't like a regular material, you know? It's quite low cut, which I love. And then I think, yeah, the bottoms come up very, very high. So on my figure especially, but I think on it, every figure to be honest there's no reason for the legs of swimming costumes to not be a high rise it's the most flattering cut across the board and i'm so excited to try this on it's got a gorgeous cross back as well if this goes well i will be buying a lot more from her because this is stunning we then also have this robe and you guys will know i love my asos white robe but this is actually what sent me over to the website i saw their instagram and i couldn't not pick this up it's so gorgeous Oh my god, I actually love it. It's so beautiful. A little bit long, but isn't everything on me. You know, my ASOS one is also like traipsing along the floor, so I'll make do. This color is stunning. So the most gorgeous burn orange. So I got a small medium in this. Oh, beautiful. And then finally, we have a pair of, hang on, let me open this, because this is loud. We have a pair of trousers, which I was particularly excited about, and I took the risk and sized up in these because they are tie waist. And I just had a moment where I was like, why does every pair of trousers not actually come with the tie waist? Because that is amazing. If you've watched my videos before, like, I mean, earlier in this video, you know, I have a real issue with getting trousers to go over my bum, but then fit my waist. It's one of the issues that I have with jeans. I just, has been my lifelong struggle with jeans. I think since I was about eight years old, my spine curves out, therefore my bum curves out. Who am I kidding? I think my bum is just bigger, much bigger than my waist anyway. I don't even know what I'm saying I think because the measurements speak for themselves. But anyway, trousers are a struggle. We all know, I'm pretty sure the majority of us know the struggle. So I just thought this was a genius idea. These are really gorgeous long and flowy i'm so excited to try these on i think it'll look gorgeous with the body that i'm wearing right now so these are the trousers i have had to put a pair of shoes on with them just to kind of bring me up to average height because they are quite long i will have them taken up but these are just gorgeous i love the way they just skim my hips it just looks so beautiful they do these in quite a few colors as well i think they're seasonal colors but yeah these would look amazing with their matching bikinis that they do or could be a perfect pair of like work trousers in the black if you wore them with a shirt and obviously if you had them taken up if you're small like me so yeah i think they're quite versatile the material of them is beautiful they flow so beautifully and there's a little tie which i have tied at the back you could tie it at the front whichever really makes most sense to you but yeah they are absolutely beautiful unfortunately because they are black it's really hard to see the detail but they are just the most gorgeous trousers i love them so the swimsuit is stunning and you know what i'm particularly happy about i love the cut the cut is great fits perfectly around my chest around the bottom but you know what i'm particularly loving yes ladies and gentlemen that is an adjustable strap this is what 
all swimwear should have an adjustable strap on the back. I put it on and I was like, oh, it fits almost perfectly. It just needs like a little bit more tightness around the chest, around the boobs. It has an adjustable strap. This is a winner for me. And if I'm honest, I know this is a little bit more spendy than your typical high street swimwear. I would pay that for the adjustable straps because it actually means that your swimsuit fits you properly. Other brands need to take note because that is what I want to see on swimwear. I love it, I'm so happy. Look at that print, it's so beautiful. Yeah, that did just happen to my voice, but look at it. So pretty, I love it. This is the orange robe. I love it. This is stunning. I have another robe coming from another brand as well, which is more of a patterned one. And I'm so excited about that. I love having my white one, but I think it's so nice to have maybe one in a print and then one in a more bold color as well. Just to have a cute little wardrobe of them, I think is so nice. I paired this one with my black ASOS swim costume just because I think having such a bold color, it deserves to shine on its own. But that's the way I like to style things. But this would also work beautifully with other bold colors as well like yellows pinks that kind of thing you could also clash the colors if you want but i am not the expert on that because we all know that neutral is <laughs> my fave so yeah i like to have one color and let it shine on its own and i think this is the perfect combo for me and now it's time to open up this this is gifted you know the drill i'm an asos ambassador my life dream come true if you'd have told me when i was 15 16 i'd be an asos ambassador i would have told you so I'm very happy. And you guys know I do my content on Instagram and that is the paid stuff, but I like to share what I pick up with you guys on here because I know you appreciate it. Some people don't like it, but I know most of you appreciate it. So that is what we're gonna be doing. With the Zara stuff, I will go through that in maybe the next video. Lots of you said when I featured my Zara haul in my last vlog, not my last vlog, vlog before. Lots of you said that you would prefer for it to be in a sit down video for Zara. And I'm happy to acquiesce to your request. That is why I'm not gonna put it in this video because I, I think a lot more people click on the Zara haul than the ASOS haul or the people that like my Zara hauls are just used to it being a sit down video. I'm not really sure if you're one of these people, let me know why. Because no one gives me an explanation. People just tell me what they want, which is fine, but I don't know, I'm just guessing. Basically, I think a lot of people that I used to my Zara hauls are used to the sit downness, and basically a lot of people clicked on the vlog and were livid that it wasn't in the first like 60 seconds so that's an over exaggeration it was like bang in the middle because I'm a businesswoman and I'm gonna put it bang in the middle I'm so sorry if that makes you sad but anyway so yeah that is the long rambly story of why I'm not even though there is a Zara haul in the hallway I'm not gonna be unboxing the Zara haul in this video also I feel like I've just talked for three minutes about why I'm not doing a Zara haul. So that is also one of the reasons why I'm not doing a Zara haul in this haul. I think even my intro was like a five minute intro. So I'm gonna get on with this. Yeah. You can tell my lunch is kicked in, can't you? Yeah. Okay. So first things first, we have a new hat. Cause you guys know how much I've been loving my other hat. Let me find it for you. Here's one I purchased earlier. This one I love, but it does have this kind of cute little bow on the back, which is it's cute and the ribbon is in a tan. I did want something in a black because I just think it's a bit smarter and kind of goes better if you're doing a whole like black denim shorts, white shirt kind of look. I just like the fact that it's a bit more minimalistic in the fact that you're not adding another color to the mix, if that makes sense. So they did do this in a very light kind of pinky nude ribbon around the center and I loved it, but I already have my tan one. So I was just like unnecessary, but this one I love. It's a really great dupe for the Gucci hat, which I did really want to get my hands on this summer, but because I'm not actually going anywhere that's not my garden, I have to try not to think about it too much, but yeah, I did really want the Gucci hat, but it's just not, it's not the time. The universe is telling me not to buy it. I, just, I can feel it. I mean, I can't put it on right now, which is sad because my hair is, is doing its thing, but I'm really happy with it. And I know it'll fit really, really well because my head is average size and I tend to have very good luck with hats. That's how I know, just in case anyone was wondering. I feel like I need to disclose this haul with the fact that I bought swimwear. I bought a lot of swimwear. I'm really enjoying swimwear at the moment. And I know you guys are too, the majority of you. Um, and if you don't like swimwear, I'm really, really sorry, but I love somewhere and this is so cute. So I picked up this set. So we have a proper like bralette style top. I love these straps, they're so thick. Oh yes, this is the kind of thing that looks very, very cute with like a long flowy skirt. You can wear it with a mini skirt as well, like skirts in general and shorts. It looks very, very cute with. Also trousers. I like to pair it with like trousers and longer skirts if I'm doing like a bikini top as a top kind of vibe because it's just like that evening out of like how much skin you've got on show, unless it's boiling hot in which case, 
but yeah i just love this i love the pattern of it i love the colors it's so like feminine but i feel like i would pair it with like a sleek bun and then maybe like a really cute like wrap around skirt that's a little bit more sleek and just kind of make it a little bit more grown up the bottoms are high-waisted which could be cute it depends on how high up these leg bits come which i feel like is actually going to be quite high which is actually great for asos because a lot of the time i do find that just with the high street in general their bikini bottoms aren't high cut that's why i love the ones that i'm wearing right now the black ones <laughs> i'm still in my bikini yeah i love these ones because they come up higher and especially if you are shorter or for me my legs are kind of like their biggest and my hip area is the biggest so i find that if you've got like almost a straight cut on the bottom of your swimsuit it kind of highlights the fact that that area is the widest and i don't know i just don't think it's cute so that's my two cents on that i also picked this up i've owned this before but can i tell you where it's gone absolutely not it's their like crinkle style i'm not sure if these are the one size yeah one size bikinis are they one size i don't know because i'm not able to test that so at your own risk but it's just a very very cute high-waisted white bikini with a bando top but yeah i do find that especially for my boobs this is quite a good size for like actually covering everything and i get on really well with them and i wanted a new white bikini set because my little triangle one that is the only white bikini like white white bikini that i have it definitely got fake tan on it at some point in the past two years and the straps are a little bit pink so i also picked up this really cute little throw on oh my god so cute like a beach kind of throw on type dress yeah it's a dress with a tie waist i think it's gonna be a really nice easy piece for throwing on when i'm around the house and just like pottering but i don't really want to put on like clothes sometimes i go to put on my white dresses and they're so pretty and frilly and gorgeous but i just feel so like overdressed for how i'm feeling on the inside you know when you're just feeling like oh, screw this man this is the dress that goes with that to go with that i also have a little hair band this isn't going to really work with my hair right now because i was gonna look weird but with my breakage i just thought this would be great for when i just want to have all of my like natural hair and no extensions but like pull my hair back and have it like positioned in place so this could be quite cute i mean you'll find out on instagram if this looks cute because right now today with this hairstyle it does not look cute so we'll see and then we have this dress this is like a black linen dress with a v-neck and a little like wicker belt the hairband and the hat would also go really well with this i just thought this was a really nice easy piece for the summer and again really great as one of those like i can't be bothered days but i still want to look pulled together this is one of those perfect perfect dresses yeah i really like it i think it'll be more of a yeah almost like a maxi dress on me rather than a mini dress but five foot two problems people five foot two problems it's not really a problem because it will still look cute so oh and then finally i have a little pair of shoes that's the one way around this is different. i really like these they have a bit of a boho feel but in the black it kind of makes them a little bit smarter and a little bit less cash and i just think they're super cute also have really squishy insoles I'm into that. I'm not sure if anyone can relate to this, but do you ever remember that you're trying on swimwear after lunch and then just wish that you weren't? Because <laughs> I'm holding it all in right now. <laughs> but anyway, I love this swimsuit. It's so cute. Swimsuits, bikini, that's the one. I like the cut. I think it comes up just high enough for it to be flattering. I personally don't mind when it's super, super high cut. I know not everyone likes a super high cut. So this is kind of that perfect point. I really, really like it. And the top it's really nicely i think i might have got this in fuller bust so um i'll let you know i'll put all of the sizes in the info box below so that you guys just have everything because sometimes i can't remember if something isn't in stock in my size i'll kind of try and figure it out and see if i can have it in another size so i think that might have been from my memory what happened with this so yeah i'll put that in the info box below but i love this it's gonna look so cute i think with my white summer kind of beach robe it will look so cute oh we have gosh. the white bikini i feel like this is a higher rise on the leg but i love it i just love a white bikini i think that they look so flattering so yeah that is kind of what we're working with i would say on the back i do end up with a bit more material just because my body isn't the longest so it's going to happen but yeah on the whole i think it's a really nice easy white bikini and it will work really really nicely under the white kind of beach dress and things like that i just think it's a really nice easy piece to have in your summer wardrobe so i can't remember if i got this in petites i'm pretty certain i didn't but if i didn't this is going to be like a top on some of you because yeah 
that is short that is very very short which great for me and all of the other small human beings out there if you're taller and you don't like having a lot of leg on show this is just not going to be the one for you but yeah this is what it looks like over the white bikini i think this bikini works really nicely if you don't like having a lot of boob on show if you don't mind then a triangle bikini would also work very very nicely underneath this and yeah like i said it's just a really nice easy piece for the summer when you can't be bothered me every day so this is the black dress i really like the cut of the neckline it's got adjustable straps which is fantastic and i would say i could maybe do with a size down purely because the belt is very long on me and maybe i'm doing it up wrong and i just can't remember how it's meant to look up off the top of my brain so i might need to check that on the website but i could potentially do with getting a size down because i'm on the tightest belt loop i just feel like it is a bit loose but it does hang really really nicely it's not too tight and therefore on hot days it won't be too much for me and then we also have the shoes as well this is what they look like on i'm trying not to get too close to my feet because i have a broken toe now and i don't want you to see it so those are my new in summary pieces i hope you guys enjoyed that i'm about to go for my afternoon walk i need to just like clear this lot up and then i'm gonna get an ice cream um out of the freezer i have these new ice creams that i'm loving and you guys will too if you are a secret woman child like me because you guys know what i'm like so i picked these ice creams up a little while back and i've since repurchased so many times they're like unicorn fab ice creams so i'm gonna take one of those out on my walk get some vitamin d because it's actually so nice and sunny now good morning everybody it's not even morning what am i doing it's like three in the afternoon i'm not in focus there we go i don't even know why i'm starting this vlog now because i'm so hungry that i can barely speak i've just been filming my zara video for my zara order like i said i'll do a sit down video on it blah 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 done it done it my clothes are all over the bedroom floor i'm tired i am hungry it's been a very productive day but i'm i'm starving now and i wanted to just check in with you i know this vlog is kind of long already <laughs> sorry lauren <laughs> but yeah i'm just making myself some lunch i'm waiting for my water to be oh i think it's it's getting there my water is boiling and i'm gonna make myself some egg and soldiers i've also just had a nasty gal order arrive and I'm really excited about what is in it. It's so cute, but not cute, but cute. See you guys, now I don't even have to tell the people in my life that they're being annoying. Life made. Also, nasty girl, I have a bone to pick with you. If anyone that works for you is watching, this needs to be available in plus size because my friend Chloe really likes this and she was saying that it wasn't available and that really pissed me off because everyone needs to be able to tell the people in their life this message. Telling people where to go is a basic essential that everyone should be able to do without wasting oxygen, which is what this does. And if you can make it in plus size, that would be great. Thank you. I think it goes without saying, this is gonna be my uniform until the end of time. Oh my God, why has no one made this before? This is great. This is great. I'm back in my normal-ish clothes because if I get into that loungewear now, I'm not getting anything done for a while, but look at the state of this room. Like I need to, I need to sort this, but first I need lunch. Yes, my water's boiled, great. Yes, here we go. I opted for three slices of bread today because I am hungry, so, so hungry. I actually had a fourth slice of bread, but ate it with butter whilst I was cooking. So I was like, I might pass out if I don't eat soon. So yeah, that is the kind of day I am having today. One of those, I might pass out if I don't eat soon kind of days. Yeah, I think after this, I'm just gonna tidy the kitchen, tidy the crummies that I have made and get on with some just like really, really boring work stuff that I don't even wanna tell you about because it's so dull. So with that in mind, I'm probably gonna end this vlog here. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. I'll start vlogging again tomorrow. So there will be lots of regular vlogs. We're back to normal scheduling now. So Mondays and Thursdays, I will see you guys again on, God, what day is, what day are you seeing this? You're seeing us on Thursday, so I'll see you guys again on Monday with the Zara haul, which was good, and I'm keeping everything. I think I'm actually keeping everything, like that's bad. I need to eat, because I'm going a bit like, I'm getting a bit overexcited. But yeah, I'll see you guys again on Monday. If you have any other video requests, pop them in the comments. I would love to know what you're feeling at the moment, what you would like to see. If there's anything you love, but you just want to see more of, or something you feel like you haven't seen yet, I would love to know. But I hope you're all doing really, really well, and I'll see you guys again on Monday.